welcome to this cozy springtime vlog and there's a few different things that we're going to be doing in this video and um, my mom is coming over so we are going to have a day out in um, a city and well it's a city technically because it has a cathedral but it's very small it's more like a little town um do some book shopping go to the charity shops these kind of things so try and take some um videos of that also just want to get some walks in and just have a look and see what's going on in the springtime and we might do a bit of gardening as well now that it's um it's a little bit warmer when the sun is out i should say it's not warm um and just generally have a chill potter about and see how we get on so i really hope that you enjoy this video this is my outfit of the day by the way um this is like a I like to think of it as my Buffy the Vampire Slayer jacket because that's the vibe, it gives me a little long 90s jacket. Um, green long, long sleeve, one of my favourite bands ever. Necklace that um, Andy got me. This random scarf I found in a charity shop. And then black flares and muddy boots as always. I really don't like the phrase and idea of hauls that much um, but I'll just show you some of the bits that I got when I was out with my mum because um, I thought that might be interesting to you. So there was two books that I got. This one was from a shop called The Works which is like, it's like a little cheap craft shop which has random books and notebooks. It's really weird which books it gets in. It had um, uh, the, fourth, the second fourth wing book in hardback for like a tenner and that's just come out. Um, but yeah, I got this one, uh, The Witches of Vardo, because um, my friend came over um, a couple of months ago and when she, she literally knocked on the door and she was crying her eyes out and I was like, what's wrong? And she'd been listening to this audiobook in the car. She said it's um, like really heartbreaking but beautiful. Um, so it was only three quid in the works, so I got that. Um, and then in Oxfam Books, which had loads of um like old school fantasy books but only seem to have like two three four so i don't know if people have like come in picked up the first one and then all the the next ones were left there but i got um catherine kerr um, a time of omens so this is from the westland cycle books and um, i've got the first one um and i really love the vibe i thought it was so cool then there was some weird stuff in there i can't even say the word because i'll get like i don't know if youtube will like hear it and ban it but there was some weird stuff going on in there so i was like mm. i put it down um but then i thought you know what i'll give this second one a bash um because i think Catherine kerr is really cool um and the cover is beautiful and everything so i was like we'll give it a go also from the works i got a couple of craft bits so i just got some paint brushes um some pencils ran out of pencils don't have any 
Um, and then I got a craft knife and I did get ID'd for the craft knife. I thought I would because um, I'm still on this quest to make armor out of foam so that's still something that's going on um i can give a quick update on that bit of a tangent it's not very good <laughs> this was kind of my test run just to see um so the seam is like a complete mess there's glue like dripping down here and then i've got like fingerprints in the um spray and also i think it needed more primer because you can kind of see like the little dots and stuff but this is like the vibe that I'm trying to achieve. So anyway, that was the armor update. I'm gonna give it another go and see if I can do it better. And then the last thing I got's really random. It's um just from a charity shop. And I was like, is this ugly or is it nice? I don't know, but I like ugly stuff. Um, but I really need like a laptop bag um, for when I'm traveling into the office where I work. So I don't have like a good bag at the minute that just fits the laptop in easily and it's kind of designed for, for work and that sort of thing. So I saw this and it's like a really dark green colour. Um, it's got like a little handle like that, it's also got a strap. Um, and it's really big and spacious and it's got loads of like little pockets and, and everything. So I just thought this could be a good one for that type thing. So yeah, I was like, I can't decide if this is ugly or, or if it's gonna go with my style but i think it will um and because my mom talks to everyone she was talking to the woman in the shop for ages and she knocked a fiver off so that was good and um, so yeah that's a nice little uh, thing that i got um but yeah those are just the bits that i got yesterday just wanted to share in case you're interested Oh, I forgot to say, um, we saw a little community garden and it had like a letterbox that you could put donations in. So I put a fiver in it and it said, if you put money in, you can take a little plant. So I got this uh, geranium. So I thought that was cute. Um, so I'm going to find a home for it somewhere. Um, but yeah, it was a really sweet little space. And it was one of those spaces where it like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes you can feel like, oh the world's so bad and everything's horrible and everyone's awful and then you see little spaces like that and you're like no actually there are lovely people out there doing nice things um so yeah that was a little reminder of that It's a beautiful day today. The sun is actually shining and it feels warm when you stood in the sun. So that is lovely. Seed update. Um, as expected, the colder weather things are doing very well. They've all come up. I need to move them into bigger pots now. Um, some of the other things have not come up. Um, mainly the flowers I just don't know if it's been warm enough in here so I'm gonna just try and give them another go and see if I can find a warmer spot for them okay we're going to be in queue Ooh. Up, um, we're going to be in queue to get some ericaceous compost for the blueberries and um, maybe a pot as well we'll see how we get on
so I've just spent the last few hours tidying up the garden and it still looks like quite untidy and there's still a lot of stuff to do but I made some really good progress because everything just kind of got overgrown with weeds and just like random stuff like dead leaves and twigs and just everything all over the place um so I probably pulled up about 150 weeds um just took loads of things out uh, found some huge dandelion <laughs> which was quite a struggle I used like all my muscles to pull that out um repotted the blueberry and just did like some random stuff like that but it took hours um so I'll just show you where things are at with the garden at the minute so these were the dandelion that I pulled out pretty chunky um, I've still got all of these various pots down here. I haven't really fully decided what to do on this balcony bit yet. Um, some hyacinth are coming out. I've got my blueberry along here now. Various pots along there. This is my raspberry bed. There are 10 raspberry bushes in here. Some are summer fruiting, some are autumn fruiting. This was just, you couldn't even walk along here. So I've just cleared all this um, so you can move around basically. Um, swept all this up, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, the back still needs tidying. We did this bed and if you're wondering what these sticks are doing, this is my experiment to see if I can stop the cats from going to the toilet in the bed um so we'll see apparently they don't like spiky stuff on the outside um but yeah many of us cats keep coming in we did this bed and cleared i mean i did actually clear it but there's a lot, still a lot of stuff here um kale happy as ever um it's going to seed now this is my little herb bed which i cleared up so i've got lemon balm creeping thyme lavender sage um and somebody commented saying to put it in the ground because I always have a problem in pots where it gets too wet and I've done that uh, and it's going really well so thank you whoever said that I've got some marjoram here as well um, I know I need to trim all this back and stuff but you know we're going a bit at a time and we can come and say hello to the horses as well hello The bit that I'm stuck on is this because this all used to be grass and then I put cardboard down and um, to do the no dig method and planted loads of flowers so last year it was full of flowers the grass grew in again before I got the chance to sort it out and now I'm a bit stuck as to whether I just put more cardboard down and kind of start fresh or try and pull the grass out which is quite hard so that's what I'm deciding on at the minute but it's a lovely, beautiful day. I'm just here in a t-shirt. And this is the view from the garden. And something you can do is scrub these off. Um, put them in the oven, roast them a little bit until they kind of go golden brown. Chop them up and then use them as a tea uh, kind of thing. But it just tastes like coffee. Um, I drink it every single morning. So yeah, find some dandelions, give this a go.